Hey, good afternoon and welcome to the 2019 Livingston Overton County Christmas Parade. Josh Scott, Tasha Cox, over the Catter News, live on location. It's a little windy, but at least it's not it's raining. Windy. Not raining though. Um, we're at the chamber, Chamber of Commerce, sitting right in the middle of Livingston, right by the judges' stand. Uh, we'll have live shots as they stop in front of us, so it should be good. Not sure how they're blowing out. We <laughs> hello. Um, Hope you can hear. Like I said, a little windy. We've got a kind of a mic tucked in. Um, presented to you by the Livingston Dairy Queen. Frank Walters and all his staff, we thank them for sponsoring live coverage of the 2019 Livingston and Overton County Christmas Parade at Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen is the only way to start a day with their breakfast, sausage, ham, country ham, bacon, and more. Their biscuits and gravy come not with one, not only with one, but two smothered in sausage gravy. What a way to start your day. Go to Livingston Dairy Queen. Thank them for their sponsorship of the 2019 Livingston and Overton County Christmas Parade. Uh, this morning I thought it might rain. It, it came a little bit, but it's cleared up. Don't cleared jinx right it. There. Yeah, it's kind of clouding up as I say that. Um, the 2019 Grand Marshal. Who is it, Tosh? We've got a, we've got a list. There are 174 entries. The LA sports teams. So the LA sports teams are your Grand Marshals. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, it says the LA football team, the volleyball and soccer team, uh, LA baseball, Special the Olympics, Special Olympics. Uh, golf. I, everybody's kind of in there together. So there's your 2019 uh, Grand Marshals. Of course, Livingston County football record setting year on offense. Uh, Will McDonald was a Mr. Football uh, finalist and uh, had a few guys break records. You've got the all time winningest coach in Livingston County football history. Volleyball goes and goes to the state tournament for the first time I saw last night. They had a banner presentation um, at the high school basketball game for the first time since 2001. So it had been 18 years as the police cars come up. We're going to turn we and we'll just give a little commentary as we go. That's what I do, I guess. We talk. <laughs> so as you see, we are coming up. I guess entry number one would be the city police department. Yes. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. City police, county police, Livingston Fire, and the mayor. Well, a bunch of them. Yes. The Livingston Police Department, the Overton County Sheriff's Department, and the Livingston Fire Department leading the 2019 Livingston Overton County Parade. I think that's a pretty standard uh, yeah. operation there. They, they lead it almost as every year. As long as I can remember. And um, behind them, of course, are your mayors, your city mayor, is obviously Curtis Hayes, and county executive, who Ben Danner. Got a hold of the PA. He's yeah. wishing everybody Merry Christmas. Doesn't get much cuter than that. Hi, Hi, A young lady, not a young man. She's shouting out everybody, baby. She is. Now here, right, beside, right behind the police department, looks like student outreach of Livingston Academy. Trying to get a good shot of them, or a good read on them. Student Outreach for Safety. So kind of a coalition that's at Livingston Academy. It's so pretty cool there. Of course, probably brought to you by the SROs, I'd say, at Livingston Academy. Pretty cool club there. Oh, I like that old car there. Way to ride.
bet he is one. That's a way to ride and stop. The goodest boy of all time. Livingston City Police Chief Greg Ethers. That black car stands out no matter what. Here is an award-winning band yes. coming up the hill now. The 2019 edition of the Livingston Academy Spirit of the Wildcats Marching Band. You know, you don't see them perform a lot in competitions, but we see them at like ball games, LA football games on Friday night. And they have done a phenomenal job. Absolutely. Playing Jingle Bells. Doing a really good job. Something like this is one of those things. That's a five, six mile walk in the wind and the cold and play an instrument. Right there, Livingston City Mayor Curtis Hayes and Vice Mayor Ken Dodson. Almost rear-ended by the county mayor, <laughs> county executive Ben Danner about to put the horses right through them. Here is County Executive. It looks like all the county offices on board there. <laughs> and that's what it is, all the county offices, elected officials riding with County Executive Ben Danner. Here are the Livingston Academy cheerleaders. Two, two fire trucks full of cheerleaders. For the Livingston Academy squad atop the Livingston Fire Department. So they kind of combine floats there, I guess. Another thing, they've got to be cold. I mean, anybody in this parade today is going to be cold. They're, of course, through this no windbreakers and uh, long sleeves. I'd say like an underarmer underneath. It's like the start of our Grand Marshal. Yeah, the start of our Grand Marshal coming up the hill now. Lord, they, the, the poor cheerleaders just <laughs> put a sucker <laughs> on a windshield. <laughs> As I look across the way. Yeah, I know those people. <laughs> of course, my children. Four of them. Hey, look at that big kid right there. Yeah, big kid in the road. <laughs> we should hire him to collect yeah. candy for us. <laughs> the man in camouflage on the screen is on the naughty list. <laughs> for years and years in a row. Here's the Grand Marshals now. So the Grand Marshals, of course, the Livingston Academy sports team. He's not sure how they're going to divide up. This looks like a big football kind of float. Some mm -hmm. of the football team divided up. Yeah. Of course, a phenomenal season Absolutely. for those young men, 11 and 1 on the year. I shed a few tears at the end. Yeah, a pretty tough scene. Pretty tough scene at Livingston County as they lost to Nolansville, but that that road always led through Elizabethton. Yes. And uh, of course, Absolutely. Nolansville went to Elizabethton and uh, got. Yeah. yeah. Sad. They did sucked. so well. Of course, you know, a, lot of, a lot of good highlights there and uh, a season that won't be forgotten for a long time. I'm going to pause. I hate these pauses. Mm -hmm. I got a go, uh, go sign and a stop sign. I like that. I feel like we're watching Forrest Gump over there. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, you think I'm crazy. <laughs> There's a go sign. And then when she flips it around, it says stop. I feel like it's a part of Forrest Gump. Here, of course, should be another Livingston Academy sports team. Will it be volleyball? Volleyball or soccer? Volleyball and soccer together, isn't it? It is. Volleyball and soccer together for the Livingston Academy soccer team. Of course, had a phenomenal season. The Livingston County volleyball team touched on them. Had a phenomenal season. 
making the state tournament the first time in 18 years. They are, they are, oh, they are. There's the volleyball team there, soccer team. Up top, Tosh. That's they got the stop sign. See, they get the stop sign, I got to stop. And here, hey, a team that's, that's won a lot this year, the Livingston Academy Special Olympics. Have had a phenomenal year I see a this year so far. Familiar face there. I see a I see a familiar face right there, Miss Kenzie Scott. She is so excited to get on that float. I know. Morning. I love it. They've had a really good year. A bunch of first places in competitions for the Livingston County Special Olympics. Of course, here's the state tournament attendance from golf. Zoe Bud Budzelic, I think in golf, pretty positive there. And Parker Linder, um, in cross country. I believe that's how that yep. was. That is. So they're representing there. And Zoe Budzelic and Parker Linder. Parker Linder, a freshman. I think Ms. Budzelic's a freshman. But both to be in the state tournament. Um, in their Would you want to play against sport. Them? No, <laughs> not at all. I don't want to play against my dad, much less somebody that's good. And yes, I'm trying to say my dad's not very good. But we try and we have fun. <laughs> So now we get into the entries. Here's the Perrin Church. The Perrin Church. No, it's not. It's the Livingston County baseball team. Oh. You kind of talked to kind of mark through baseball here and skipped <laughs> over them. This is the Livingston County baseball team. Nice little float right there by Livingston County baseball. Got Frosty the Snowman on the back. That team last year that was middle of the road in District 8 AA this year. Kind of grown up a little bit. Hope to make a bigger impact. District 8. Should be set and ready to go a little bit. Coach Jamie Loftus and his staff do a really good job with baseball. Could be an exciting spring for that bunch. And now, now. we're getting to the entries. 174 of them. We'll be here a minute. First, According to the entry list, is the Perrin Church in Rickman, Tennessee. I think that would be inaccurate. I believe the theme for this year is a hometown Christmas or something like that. And that's kind of what everybody's kind of went with, kind of a country style Christmas. Beautiful float there by the Perrin Church. Here's the food dude. Entry two is the food dude. He said say cheeseburger. He said say cheeseburger. He did say say cheeseburger. He did. Who we got next here, Tom? Just enough hair salon. Just enough hair, not so much. Not too much. I, I think sometimes we've got too much hair salons in living <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could. I could but nonetheless, they're all in the float and the parade. And nothing wrong with that. So just enough hair salon in there. Well, that's a nice car right behind them, though. What is that? Looks like Kenneth Vaughn in his 57 Ford. 57 Ford Fairlane. Boy, that's a beautiful car right there. It is. Nice restoration done there. <clears throat> decorated out that is a beautiful vehicle right behind him are the sons of confederate veterans that organization does a lot people behind the scenes don't understand that but they're very involved in things in and around Overton County Was proud of their ancestors. Next behind them will be Life Behind the Real. Life Behind the Real, Mr. Justin Hunter and his family on the side by side pulling the trailer. Nice, nice fishing <laughs> business there. She said, Like us on Facebook. That's Life Behind the Real. And Philip Talley and his 75 Ford F 150. That's an old Ford Ranger, Tosh. 
That's what the Ford Ranger used to look like. Wow. 2019 Overland County football queen, Megan Estelle, is next. And her family of dogs. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they all of course, match. people too. But they Everyone all match. match. They all do. They're, even there, any, everybody inside, they've got a, <laughs> the flannels going on. Everything, that's cute. Twin Lakes, up next, has been a sponsor through Livingston County football season. Twin Lakes, home, internet, security, TV, they got it all at Twin Lakes. Again, our sponsor for today, though, is Livingston Dairy Queen. Yes. And I'll tell you what, today's not the best day to get ice cream, but they've got some frozen hot chocolate up there that is perfect. But my, might not want to go for the frozen kind today. Yeah, but I'm sure if you request it, they might make some real hot chocolate happen. Of course, that's the Livingston Dairy Queen here. Entry number 11 is the Allen's Elementary School Cheerleading Squad. Allen's Elementary and the Allen's Volunteer Fire Department carrying those cheerleaders to the Livingston Overman County Christmas Parade. Number 12, Cookville Regional Home Health. Of course, home health, a big thing in Overton County area. Sometimes forgotten, the nurses, staff, and caregivers in home health. And thank Cookville Regional Home Health for all they do. Here we Vol State, if I'm not mistaken. The Vol State Police. And of course, Vol State, hey, that's expanded over the years. I remember. 10, 15 years ago, that building was nowhere near what it is now. Right. Of course, they've expanded in the last 10 years, and what a facility uh, they've got at the Livingston a campus. Ton of new yeah, I got a nursing program at Ball State now. That's all. That's awesome there. Here's Watkins and Langford. Of course, their record. in Livingston for years, Watkins and Lankford. Follow, following Watkins and Lankford, we have a little... Boy, they love that horn. I'm a truck driver, and I love my horn, not as much as he does. <laughs> Behind Watkins and Lankford, you have the Ripman Volunteer Fire Department. I, I'm not going to lie to you, they're glad he goes on. Yeah, how would you feel being the one riding behind your horse? Oh, yeah. If you're, the, if you're the Rickman Volunteer Fire Department, you just want them to go on. You might call the Livingston City to Police Department and say they'll give them a ticket. <laughs> of course, two engines there and a Ford Explorer. Rickman Volunteer Fire Department. They brought all their trucks out. Yeah, that's good. I like the yellow truck. <laughs> Again, Josh Scott and Cox Cox Overton County News bringing you live coverage of the 2019 Livingston Overton County Christmas Parade. Kind of breezy down here, but at least it's not raining. As we have entry number 19, that's the Poppy Princess, Abigail Beck. Of course, the Poppies, the Poppy Princess brought to you by the American Legion Auxiliary. Poppy Princess Abigail Beck, there. Followed by Overton County Junior Miss first runner-up Chloe Jenkins. Of course, Chloe's mom, Miss Christy Jenkins, just passed through a little while ago at the Livingston Academy volleyball team. And Chloe, of course, the Overton County Fair Junior Miss first runner-up. Following her is Girl Scout Troop 15-13. They've done a nice little job. They're enjoying the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. They should have brought us some. They just said no way it's here because we're celebrities. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. But they did not way it's here. They'd go. All right, that's oh, Texas Smith. Oh my goodness. Of course, long time Overton County public servant oh, Pat Smith there. Oh, this hot chocolate. Holding this hot chocolate. Out of the car. And, <laughs> yeah, outside of the car. I don't I don't think Pat cares. The Peck might not I mean he don't he may not know that if you hold it outside and you drive it'll cool down quicker. Kind of counteract what they're trying to do there. As we get entry number twenty three. As they speed up through here. Roy Pennington, <laughs> nineteen thirty four. There's, a, there's number 24, that's all Roy Pennington's 
group there, number 23, 24, and 25. Those old antique vehicles he's got going on there. I like there. this matte green. Yeah, I do too. That's a good looking truck. Number 26 is the Overton County Co-op. And we were trying to figure out because they've got they 26 views. through 37 what they were having. And they're just, they've got the side-by-sides out. I like that. If Santa's listening. Santa's listening. If Santa's listening, that orange one right man. there is what I want. So Santa, if you're out there and you see the Overton County News live coverage of the 2019 Overton County Christmas Parade, that orange one that Tasha just showed was the one I want. <laughs> I don't want it financed either. Just bring it to me, and Santa can take care of the financing. Well, that's he something. Knows that's enough throughout the yeah, year. I've been good all year long. <laughs> of course, side by sides, you know, something that's taken off in the last probably ten years. I think with our our six children, Tosh, we'd need like six side by sides. We need one of those that have the. You know, they've got the four seaters or whatever, yeah. the two seats. We need another seat, like a third row vehicle yeah, beside like that. Yeah, like a minivan. Yeah, the minivan side by side. That's what we need. The minivan side by side. I don't know if they make those. We can get a sidecar for both of them now. Like one on each side. <laughs> Take up two lane roads. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Of course, that is the Open County Farmers Co-op coming through on the side by sides, and of course the tractors on Massey Ferguson. That's a nice tractor. I heard the other day that's supposed to be the instructor seat there that she's sitting on. Well, that makes sense. You know why? A lot of guys buy it because they're grandkids. Oh. Well, I mean, because <laughs> I'm a smart man, the women always tell us what to do, so it, it's fitting that she's. The instructor. This is true. You are a smart man. See, and that woman right there was driving her own because she's so smart she could just drive it herself. Again, this is the Overton County Farmers Co op. Josh Scott and Tasha Cox, Overton County News, bringing you live coverage of the 2019 Livingston Overton County Christmas Parade, brought to you by the Livingston Area. I'll tell you what, it's my, I'm hungry and thinking of the Dairy Queen six piece chicken strip basket quarter pound flamethrower burger add a little bacon to that we may have to stop when mm. we leave mm -mm -mm. they also got the fountain thing that you gotta select any drink you want and you can mix your drinks yeah you can do whatever you want to that's cooper's favorite my five-year-old hey mix your own drinks now we get past the co-op and we've got the vanderbilt life fly Vanderbilt Life Flight Critical Care Response Unit. There is entry number 38. Number 39 is Jeff Cooper and it's 1931 Ford. Casper. Got Casper the Ghost on. Nice Earl White. 1939 Ford right there. Yeah, I can hear that thing rumble. Our editor over here, Dwayne Peake, probably ready to take that thing home. <laughs> entry number 40 is the Overton County Rescue Squad. Over the county rescue squad. Of course, another one of those first responder type things you don't think of until you need them. Do a lot of things from Absolutely. Swift Water Rescue to just, you know, missing person rescue. Over the county rescue squad in it all. Number 41 is Nicole. Nope. That's Sadie Jane Everly. Second runner up in the Tiny Tots. They skipped a few there. Now 41 wasn't in there. So Sadie Everly is number 42. Number 43, Ralph Barnes and his 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Nice car right there, Mr. Barnes. Speaking of Mr. Barnes, Rick Barnes and the University of Tennessee basketball team taking on Memphis at 2 o'clock. I wish we could kick Memphis out of the state of Tennessee. It's the Tennessee fan in me, I apologize. Number 44 is Johnny Barnes, his 1935 Ford. Number 45 coming up. Is Roger Harvey in his 1968 Mercury. Alan Jackson said he's crazy about a Mercury. <laughs> Mr. Barnes heard that song, I had to go get him one. Number 46 
is James King and his 1962 Ford Falcon. Well, I'm gonna get up and go. I bet it will. Number 47 is Mr. Spencer Curd and his family. And that old antique John Deere. Old John Deere farm tractor. A nice unit he's got there. Old trailer as well. For the Curd family. Little girl there, hey, she's just enjoying it. Yep. Taking it all in. I'm not gonna throw no can candy, mama. I'll eat my cookie. I don't want these people to go by. As we have the Fairgrounds Fire Department coming up. Entry number 48. Riding on front is Marshall. On the Fire Patrol. Marshall aboard of the Fairgrounds Fire Department. Two engines there for Fairgrounds. I believe they've actually got fire. Yeah, here they come. The next, we got a couple more here from Fairgrounds. Got an old house right here, an old time frontier <laughs> looking shack here. Got a smoker in there, a wood stove. That's the Fairgrounds Volunteer Fire Department. That's cute. Following the Fairgrounds Fire Department is the Hardy Chapel Volunteer Fire Department. There are two engines. Of course, those two work together a lot, just the way the districts align. Hardy's Chapel Fire Department. Entry number 52. Thank you guys for following along. I see 80 people is what we've got right now, roughly. Josh Scott and Overton County News. Josh Scott and Tasha Cox, Overton County News. Bring you live coverage of 2019 Livingston, Overton County Christmas Parade on a windy, breezy day in Livingston. You look off to the south and you kind of see some clouds starting to form. So you hope that you get these last two million entries in before the rain starts to come. It's number 54. That's Cash Express. Comes rolling through. You know, we got a Dairy Queen, it's a grill and shield. Right? Maybe both? Yes. One of the few one of the few Dairy Queens to offer breakfast. I don't think people a lot of people understand that. But as number fifty-five the Hagen, Robbins, and Rowan Crowder. That's 2019 Toddler King and Queen come through. That's entry number 55. If you understand that our Dairy Queen is one of the few that serves breakfast. The girls I work with had no idea that Dairy Queen served yeah. breakfast. So commend all those men and women up there to take pride in what they do because that's some of the best breakfast in town over the yes. Livingston Dairy Queen. <clears throat> but I was talking about the, the grill and chill. Today, probably I should skip the chill. Yeah, just, just get the grill. Yeah. And if you do, hey, five buck lunch, quarter pound of burger, perfect. You get the Sunday, you can wait till spring to get the Sunday or the blizzard <laughs> or whatever. They'll give you a coupon, it's good for a while. we go see our friends at the Livingston Dairy Queen. Number 56, it's Rickman, Rickman Elementary Basketball Team. It's number 56, led by Copeland Farm. As they spell out, Rickman. Number 57, oh my goodness. Tosh, I think it's the Grinch. I'm wearing my Grinch face. Tosh has always got the Grinch face on. He's traded the dog and the sled in for a Jeep Wrangler. That's I mean, a pretty good decision. Yeah, I mean, that's a business not decision. A bad trade. I can't blame the Grinch on that. Number 58 is Animal Awareness Association of Overton County. You know, the Grinch. He does a lot of good things. I mean, he really does. I mean, he reminded everybody what Christmas is about. Right. I mean, his heart kind of exploded, and he did, but he didn't die, so that's a good thing. <laughs> good movie. There's Miss Bella Burns. 2019 Junior Miss Bella Burns. Following her, 
are the Hillham Elementary School cheerleaders. Following them, Mark Lee from that beauty, beautiful 50s era Chevrolet that Mark's got. That's a beautiful truck right there. This is my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> Number 62 is the Timothy Volunteer Fire Department. You know, you don't think about that's actually the East 52 Volunteer Fire Department. East 52 is the lead engine. 63, they had a switch there, is the Timothy Volunteer Fire Department. You know, you don't think about Timothy being in Overton County until, you know, something like this happens. But Timothy, of course, the standing stone community responding there. Number 64 is Mr. Keith Harvey in his 2001 Chevy Corvette. Oh, I like this. Number 65 is Megan Reeder. I've known Megan for a long time. She's about small enough just to fit in there just fine. Yeah. She's Number in the six, passenger seat. She is. Number 66 is Aretha and Dwayne Wingham. Number 67, right there in front of you, is Mr. Roger Bobby in his 1968 Ford Mustang. Number 68, Liza Jane Carr, 2019 Junior Princess. She made you cry. She did make me cry. Pretty good story, Miss Liza Jane Carr. Remember that one, won't forget that one, number 69. Hey, a sponsor of the football. Yes. Our Overton County News Live Facebook coverage, the 2019 version of the Overton County Outlaws. Oh, I love the little chanting. Number 71 is Brian White and his 1999 Camaro. I always wanted one of those. It's probably got to my mom and dad didn't give me one because I probably hit that light bulb right there. You know what I mean? My speed. I like, uh, we skipped a lot if that's number 111. I think he just skipped the line. Yeah, he skipped the line. Here comes yeah. 73. Lucky Red Stables right there. <laughs> we went from 71 to 111, and I know I can't count better than that. But that was Lucky Red Stables right there. Was entry number 111. Number 73 now. That's crazy how we just skipped that and come back. <laughs> number 73 is the Willow Grove Resort. Willow Grove. What a beautiful marina that got down there. there. Improved that store down there over the years. Number 75 and 76, the East Clay Volunteer Fire Department and their engines. Number 77 is Jamie Maynard in his 1978 Oldsmobile hearse. Speaking of 78, here is number 78, Shane Milton and his 1968 Roadrunner. Those are beautiful vehicles right there. Number 79, Will White and his 1977 Corvette. Actually, Anthony White yep. driving it. Wheel of top there. Driving. Entry number 80, the Monroe Volunteer Fire Department. I know a few of those people. That's my uncle and dad are members of the Monroe Volunteer Fire Department. Number 82 and 83, Overton County Emergency Management Services. I there's going to be 82. Oh, nope, i got a float in here. So 82, Director of Overton County EMS. Number 83, i got a snowman driving a tractor. Good thing it's cold or he'd have meddled in that kid we driving. <laughs> I don't know if it's good that the kid is the instructor for the snowman. This is true. to remember the
pretty cool float right and there. Toes are not without toes. Guardian souls. The soldier has a soldier's duty that takes no holiday. So because you're far from home. You know, seeing that float it does make you remember there's a lot of men and women overseas and are fighting for our country and not even just overseas that are abroad our country. That ain't gonna make it home for Christmas this year. So that's a good reminder right there. If you see one of those men and women out that have done that, you should say thank you for all they've done. Number 84 coming in the screen now is TCAP. Boy, that's talking about Ball State expanding. TCAP yes. has boomed over the years. And they're bringing a little Christmas spirit. Got a dancing man up there. A little snow blowing in that young lady's face. Said, okay, that's, that's enough snow. <laughs> the snow is a blowing up there. The Lord T Cat float. The number 85. That's Little Miss Queen of 2019, Miss Jayla Rudd. I wonder if any of the snow from the T Cat floats get on Jayla. Number 86, I like this one, Go Balls. Yeah, I knew you would like this one. Number 86 is Charles Hammock and his right arm. Tennessee Orange, 1968 Camaro, Smokey Rocky. Right there with him. Go Balls, beat those tires. Number 87, Bilbrey's Cross. Well, that's a business. Right there, Bilbrey's Cross, and out there at Rickman. Wedding venue, event venue, event center, I guess you'd say. We still haven't looked at that place. Robin Long, her husband, of course, running Bill Breeze Crossing. Number 88 is Troy Pennington. This Tennessee flag In 89. Another Tennessee fan. Go Balls! Number 90 is Chase Boswell. Number 91 coming into frame soon will be the Livingston Dance Studio. Livingston Dance Studio. A lot of young ladies up there on that floor. I bet they're cold. Mm -hmm. They'd probably rather be dancing. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think they'd much rather be dancing. So I remember thinking, okay, this is not cool. Number 93 is the Livingston Regional Hospital. There's staff and children aboard the float there. What was that, a, like a sleigh they've got going on there? They have an oversized sleigh. Oversized sleigh, she says. <laughs> 94, the Tennessee Forester Division. And if there's a fire tonight, don't worry. Smokey the Bear is here. <laughs> and let me remind you that only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the Bear, one of my all-time favorite characters growing up. Probably says a lot about me. Number 96, Girl Scout Troop 1060. Maybe why he turned his back to you. Yeah, maybe. He probably knows. <laughs> I never started a forest fire for Smokey. I listened. Number 96, the Girl Scouts Troop 1060. And they built a snowman out of tires. That's pretty cool. Pretty creative. Number 97 is Jaden Masters. And I think, is that not the Ferris of the Fair? Hartley Hill? She was previously Ferris of the Fair. Previously. She's right on top, but there was no sign. I'm just trying to take a stab and dark at it. It says number 98 would have been a Corvette and Napa Auto Parts, but I see no sign. Number 99 would be Christine Lee in her 1930 coupe. 100 is Bruce Lee. Hi in his 1932 Ford pickup truck. Number 101 is Wayne's Customs. Rollback service there. Looks like we're skipping a few. One, two, skip a few. 99, 105 is Taylor's Crossroads Volunteer Fire Department.
There's four engines there for Taylor's Crossroad. A little of them county communities you don't think about. Long ago it was a hopping place. They still got the store open up there? I don't know. I haven't been up there in a long time. I'm sure they if you're do. following along, I'd love to know if they have the store open. Did, did the mayor and vice mayor make a loop? They did. <laughs> I figured so. <laughs> Curtis, how he says they wanted to come to the parade twice. Having so much fun as we see the Taylor's Crossroads Volunteer Fire Department coming on back through. Entry number 109, the Junior Wildcat Band. Oh, here they are. I think we've got some boys in this we one do. here. They're on the other side. Our, one of ours just threw his bucket, so he's caught on camera. One hundred and ten is Tay Potts, King and Queen, Mason, and Lexi. Lexi's a Cooper friend, Lexi Mayberry. One hundred and twelve is the Mountain Volunteer Fire Department, hanging limb across the mountain there. Some very fine people up on the mountain. Very fine community up there in hanging limb. Number 114, this orange Jeep coming in. Says it's Susan Kinsey. Now that's the orange thing that I would like for Christmas, Santa. Yeah, I might trade. I might just go back to the side from the side by side of the Jeep. I don't want you to have all the fun. Wow. 115 is the Cub Scouts. That's pack 133 of the Cub Scouts coming in. Entry number 115. One sixteen and one seventeen are the Simmons family. Got a quad in the side by side there. Nicely decorated quad there. Quad decked out. <laughs> Mom and Dad just follow along, making sure I don't make them just go crazy here. Never seen an outfit like that. Number. <laughs> Got Santa coming up. I see Santa in his hat and his coat. All the young boys and girls better be on their best behavior as Santa comes through because I think he has a notepad in there somewhere. Entry number 119 is Dan Fox in his 1947 <laughs> International Tractor. Those things run forever. That's a beautiful tractor up there. You know, you see these like those Massey Ferguson's come through, got the cab and the, you know, the heat and air and everything now. 1947, they didn't have that and they farmed just fine. Crazy how time changes everything. 120th is Kenneth King, it's 1934 Ford. Again, just a retrospect back. Think about cars back then. We're sitting up atop of my truck here with a tailgate, got all these features in it. <laughs> that car just drives. Just about goes. It. No Number 400, I might want one of those. You want one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> a little miniature pony. 
Todd's Outdoor Solutions. Boy, there's so many here. Here's the 2019 Ferris the Fair, Miss Bailey Talent. And here is Santa Claus. Pretty good sand. Oh, it's really good. Of course, the horses galore here. There's the George family. Try and get them as they come through. Number 406 coming in. Uh, Brad Cushing. And they just all blend together because they're horses. Yeah. <laughs> and they got 40, a lot. Oh, okay. Let's see here. We've got Joanne Carter, Joseph Ray, Dawson Simmons, Weston King, Jessica Savage, Brandon Savage, Mally Copeland, Becky Montez has three entries. I don't think she's riding three horses. If she did, I'd like to see that. <laughs> she might be good. Oh, I like the one at the uh -oh. end. And just at the end, you know, we just saw Santa Claus, which, hey, he's the giver of all things good. But at the end there, well, he's, he's riding a unicorn. I mean, maybe, maybe good. Maybe the he's The Grinch turning. is riding a unicorn. The Grinch is on a unicorn. <laughs> <clears throat> pretty interesting turn of events by the Grinch. That's pretty Thought he amazing. was all things bad for a little while. <laughs> then he all of a sudden comes out on a pink unicorn. I'm not sure what's With going on. With a purple tail. <laughs> he, he might have changed his ways. The Grinch might have changed his ways. It's possible. Let's have him drop that off at the house. Taylor's, Ross, Taylor's Crossroads is closed now. Aww. I thought so. I see a, I see a cute five-year-old little girl over there. That is amazing with the yes. horse painted pink. <laughs> So there is the 2019 Livingston Overton County Christmas Parade. Josh Scott, Overton County News, Tasha Cox on video, Overton County News. We thank you guys for watching along. Sponsored by the Livingston Dairy Queen.